Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of trigonometric functions using the chain rule, and this is the formula for the chain rule. Then for this given, so y equals tangent to the power 4, then 5x minus 4. So first, we need to rewrite this given, so this becomes y equals tangent, then 5x minus 4, then to the power 4. Then from this given, so u, so this is u, tangent 5x minus 4, then du, so the derivative of u. So since the derivative of tangent is second squared, then we have 5x minus 4, times the derivative of 5x minus 4. So the derivative of 5x, this one is 5, and the derivative of 4, that's 0. So we have this times 5. So therefore, du is equal to 5, then second squared, 5x minus 4. Then to find the derivative, so y prime, from this formula, so we have n, so n is the exponent, that's 4, times u, and u is tangent 5x minus 4. So we have tangent 5x minus 4, then to the power n minus 1, so 4 minus 1, that's 3. Then times du, so the derivative of u, that's 5, then second squared, 5x minus 4. Then simplify, so y prime, so multiply this 4, so we have 4 times 5, that's 20, then second squared, 5x minus 4, then tangent, so we can place now this exponent on tangent, so tangent to the power 3, then 5x minus 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so first we need to rewrite this given, so y equals cosine x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then to the power 5. Then from this given, so u, u is this cosine x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then for the derivative of u, since the derivative of cosine is negative sine, then x squared plus 3x minus 1, then times the derivative of x squared plus 3x minus 1. So for the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x, then plus the derivative of 3x, that's 3, then for the derivative of negative 1, that's 0, so we have 2x plus 3. So therefore, du is negative 2x plus 3, then sine, x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then to find the derivative, so we have y prime equals n, so n is the exponent, that's 5, times u, and u is cosine x squared plus 3x minus 1, then to the power n minus 1, so 5 minus 1, that's 4, times du, and du is negative 2x plus 3, then sine x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then simplify. So we need to multiply this 5 to this equation. Since this one is negative, so we have negative 5 times 2x plus 3, then sine x squared plus 3x minus 1, then we have this cosine 
then place this exponent to cosine. So we have cosine to the power 4, then x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then we need to simplify this one. Then we need to uh, distribute this 5. So we have y prime equals negative. Then 10x plus 15. Then we have sine x squared plus 3x minus 1. And cosine to the power 4 x squared plus 3x minus 1. So this is now the derivative.